where's your hands been? Like, have you been to the toilet? Have you washed your hands? I don't want your dirty hands on my hair. So I'm on my way traveling to Ghana. It's 4 a.m. and I'm at the airport. I go to put my bag on the bag luggage thing so that it can make its way, hopefully, to Ghana. And I'm walking towards the guy and he, all he does is like, and I couldn't even tell what the expression was on his face, whether it was, wow, that's amazing, or it's not. And then he was just like, your hair, just your hair. And then he said, can I touch it? And I said, no. And then another woman came up and said, what about my hair, which also I thought was quite weird. And then he just proceeded to touch my hair. And actually, like, on reflection, that's a complete violation. How can you ask me if you can touch my hair? I say no, yet you touch it anyway. I honestly wish I had, like, a GoPro on me or something at the time to record it, and I considered taking a picture of him because I thought, how do you actually think that's okay? Like, I'm not an animal. You can't just do what you want with me. You can't basically stroke me, especially when I've said I don't want you to. And how do you think that's acceptable? He thinks that's completely acceptable and was like laughing about it. So it really raised the question to me, why do some people think it's okay to touch Afro hair? And I can't decide if I can come to a conclusion. It's funny because when I was younger, I used to go out clubbing and all the time people would have to touch my hair. Like I'm talking about, I would go to a club in Edinburgh and I'd get asked at least, 10 times in the night, can I touch your hair? And I used to actually say yes and didn't really think anything of it. But as I've got older, I've thought, like, what? So imagine I just went up to like any random person, like anyone here in the background and was just like, can I touch your hair? That would be completely weird and like frowned upon. Yet, just because I've got Afro hair, it's okay, that doesn't make any sense. Like I'm completely baffled as to how people actually think this is normal and common practice. It's not like we're in the middle of like the wilderness and you've never seen meet somebody with Afro hair before. This was an Edinburgh airport. <laughs> There's no way that you've not seen people of different races to yourself. And so therefore you actually don't need to ask to be touching anybody's hair. I know so many people think this is totally normal, but reverse the situation, reverse it. It's actually part of me. And also, where, where's your hands been? Like, have you been to the toilet? Have you washed your hands? I don't want your dirty hands on my hair. Do you know what I mean? And yeah, just reverse the situation. Any other part of your body, it is actually growing off of my head. So it's actually mine. <laughs> Imagine I just said to somebody, can I touch your leg randomly or can I touch your face randomly it's basically the same thing I put this on my Instagram and actually one of my friends Lily said she took out her daughter who's mixed race the other day let me see if I can find it I took out my daughter the other day for two hours and I got asked four times or not asked sorry her hair just got touched four times that's not acceptable like at all and it actually makes me really angry the weird thing about this as well is this isn't just like a one-time thing this happens all the time and i actually want to know if anybody's watching this who has asked to touch my hair before why 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 is it acceptable i want to like my friends like, <laughs> or my family like i want to like touch their hair why is it acceptable to ask to touch somebody's hair when you don't know them, like a random person? I would never, ever, 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 ever ask to touch anything of a random person. So the other day, I actually retweeted this, um, and I said this has happened to me before, and it was this woman at work, and basically her colleagues had never seen her with natural hair before. So they all just went up to her and were touching her hair and she was just like, there was nothing she could do about it or she was just laughing, you know, she just didn't know what to do. And that's the thing, this morning, it was 4 a.m. I'd already almost left my phone, or I did actually leave my phone in the taxi and I'd left my actual suitcase in my house. Two things that I had to go back for. So I was already tired. 
and I wasn't up for a war at 4 a.m. But it's like I shouldn't have to be up for a war. It's like we are not in a zoo here. We are not zoo animals. You cannot touch our hair.